So Sundar Pichai was there in the room. So far, what are Alphabet's takeaways from this event? Um, and how do you plan to help? Sure. So first, as you noted, we've uh, we've pledged $10 billion over the next five years to improve uh, investments in zero trust, secure software, and enhancing open source security. Open source being a very important mechanism for ensuring non-proprietary solutions. We're also pledging through our Google Career Certificate Program to train 100,000 Americans in fields like IT support and data analytics, learning in-demand skills, including data privacy and security. As you know, uh, it's, you can't do security without having all of those trained folks, and this is an important job uh, market for Americans everywhere. So uh, President Biden seemed to put the blame on the private sector when talking about the fact that there just aren't enough people to fill the jobs uh, that are needed to help protect U.S. infrastructure. What do you make of that criticism? You know, I don't think the blame falls on the government or the private sector. I think there's work that we can do uh, together to ensure that all the, you know, children as young as kindergarten are exposed to um, engineering and technology career paths that um, regardless of, of where they are, they um, have that opportunity. I think Google has done a lot to um, provide training and certification and pathways to get into companies like Google. I think the government has done good work in incentivizing um, at the community college, uh, K through 12. Uh, so there's, there's, there's good work that's been done. There is a lot more that, that does need to be done. And I think it's also important to recognize um, non-traditional paths to security. So not necessarily just that four-year degree from the, um, the, uh, the elite institutions, but looking everywhere throughout our country for um, individuals who have aptitude, but maybe not the opportunity and can benefit from training. You worked on the DHS cybersecurity team, and I'm just so curious, what's the view from that's the other side of the coin, if you will, from inside the White House about what's, what needs to be done and, and what's not happening? It, it's interesting. I think the um, first I would say I really commend the Biden administration both for um, having the summit. Um, I was part of the team that organized President Obama's uh, cybersecurity summit several years ago, so I know how hard that was. And uh, hats off to that uh, all those government staff who um, worked so hard to make a successful event. But uh, the, the, it's, it's really, as you said, about those commitments. And that's why I think having the companies today, as well as the government, government make these commitments to continue evolving all of the foundational work that was done by previous administrations. Importantly, what I would really stress, um, which I did in the government, and now I see it so much clearer outside of the government, is the need to continue to invest in IT modernization. The government is continuing to defend indefensible systems that are decades old in some case. And so making sure that we're okay. not just focused on cybersecurity, but also on the modernization. Meantime, Google is working towards a passwordless future. I'm inputting passwords in to get into my information, you know, dozens of times a day. When will the password be gone? I hope soon. Um, it is definitely something that we have to work to, to change that behavior. We are, we're, we've been doing a lot of great work on uh, multi-factor authentication. I um, believe it's one of the most reliable ways to prevent unauthorized access. For those folks who use our advanced protection program, it's drastically incre increasing your account security. Um, these are folks like elected officials, human rights activists, journalists, those who are targets. We've seen zero evidence of successful phishing attempts on accounts enrolled in this program. So there are ways to do this. We're continuing to lead the way. And, um, and I do hope that that passwordless future is soon.